If you're at the point where you're thinking that time flies by quickly, or you're wondering where all the years have gone, it's probably time to start making retirement plans. Allowing your retirement to creep up on you is one of the worst mistakes you could ever make, which is why I've compiled 11 things you must do before you retire, that is, if you intend to retire well. Number 1. Retirement Savings It's never too early to start saving towards your retirement. In fact, the earlier you start, the bigger a nest egg you can create for yourself. But if you have left off saving towards your retirement for too long, it's also not too late to start. Better late than never, right? Now, there are a number of routes you can take with this, including traditional 401ks and Roth 401ks. But you might need to speak with a financial advisor to help you decide which retirement savings plan is the best fit for you. That said, having a retirement savings plan is not the only way to save towards your retirement. It is also important that you watch your spending. Now, of course, I'm not saying that you should never spend your money on things that you really enjoy, all in the bid to set something aside for you when you retire. What I'm saying instead is that you need to make sure that you are not spending your money on unnecessary things like insurance policies that you know you will never have use for. Spend money on what you need and what you want, but try to avoid things that are outrightly useless. Number 2. Figure out new income and make appropriate plans for adjustment Retirement typically means that you stop actively earning. That paycheck that used to come in steadily no longer might. However, the fact that you stop working usually does not mean that you stop having needs. So, you need to figure out where money will be coming from once you stop receiving your regular paychecks. Retirement income typically comes from retirement savings plans, passive income, savings accounts, pension, self-employment income, and social security. You will have to sort all of these out, see the ones that apply to you, and figure out how much is accrued to you from the different sources. Once you've gotten all that figured out, you want to go ahead and create a rough budget of monthly expenditure. The idea here is that your retirement income might not be as high as your active working income, so plans for adjustment would need to be made and a retirement budget prepared so that adapting to retirement life would not be so much of a problem. Number 3. Consider your housing options Housing is another important aspect of your retirement you need to figure out. Is your current accommodation great for a retiree or would you need help moving around? Have you paid off your mortgage? Do you want to move out of the city, to a city, or to a different one? Do you want to move closer to family or into a retirement home? It is important that you figure all of this out before you retire so that you can discuss with family if you need to and seek help if you need it. Number 4. Make Health Care Plans Aging typically comes with a number of health issues and an increased need for medical attention. Add that to the fact that healthcare in America is really expensive and you understand why you need to make plans before you retire. Now, you should know that at age 65, you're eligible for Medicare, and even though it will not cover all of your medical needs, it covers a significant amount. However, Medicare is actually quite complicated and could be difficult to understand. You will probably need some help figuring things out, so start early. Number 5. Make a long-term care plan If you are currently in great health, it might be difficult to think of a time when you'll need assistance to do certain things. However, the reality of aging is that you might, research says, that over 70% of people over the age of 65 will need long-term care services at some point. So, it is best to make your preparations before the time comes. By preparations, I mean that you need to figure out whether you'll be going for nursing home services or home health aid. That said, making a long-term care plan is more than just making decisions, there is money involved. As a result, you should consider looking into long-term care insurance or health savings accounts to cover those services. Number 6. Sort out your life insurance Life insurance is your way of making sure that the people you leave behind when you pass are properly cared for, at least financially. 
So as you enter into retirement, you have to start taking it seriously. A good number of employers actually offer life insurance as a part of their benefit package, so you're probably not new to the idea. However, considering that your coverage typically expires when you stop working, you should consider taking one up by yourself. There are different kinds of life insurance policies and they cover different expenses. So, make sure to do your due diligence and only settle for the policy that you believe will properly take care of your loved ones. Number 7. Take stock of your assets and liabilities You might already have an idea of the things you own. However, as you prepare for retirement, you need to take a more comprehensive stock of all your stuff. You need to figure out what your assets are and how much each of them is worth. Your assets include the money in your account, your homes, other real estate properties, vehicles, investments, bonds, and stocks. You will need to have a comprehensive knowledge of all of these to properly prepare for your estate plan, which we will be discussing soon. Anyway, your assets are not the only things you need to take stock of. You also need to take stock of your liabilities, including mortgages, student loans, auto loans, personal loans, and credit card debts. Doing this will help you to determine how to channel your resources. Number 8. Review Your Estate Plan Still talking about doing right by the people you leave behind when you pass, it is important that you start making plans to take care of your estate as you enter into retirement. The idea is to make sure that whatever you leave behind is properly transferred to the appropriate parties such that there would be no conflicts. That said, there are three major documents that you need to prepare as part of your estate plan – a living will, a trust, and a will. Your living will is where you detail your medical preference and your power of attorney. That is, it tells your doctor who should be responsible for making your medical decisions in any situation where you can't. As for the trust, it allows a third party to hold your assets and other property while they are being quickly distributed, quicker than with the will. And then a will, as you most probably know, details how you want your estate to be divided. Now, all these three are legal documents and so you would need legal help to prepare them to make sure that they are binding. It's never too early to make estate plans and if anything comes up in the future, like during your retirement, there is room for changes to be made. Number 9. Create an Emergency Fund Having an emergency fund is very important, regardless of what stage of life you're in. But it is probably even more important in retirement, considering you would probably no longer have a steady source of income. So, try to have at least 6 months worth of income saved somewhere. Income that can cover housing, feeding, insurance, and a number of other things that could constitute an emergency. Number 10. Understand your social security benefits You probably already know that from age 62 you're eligible to receive social security benefits. However, there is more to claiming your social security benefits than just knowing when you're eligible to collect. For one, if you delay receiving your social security benefits till you're 67, you could get up to 8% more in benefits till you're 70. Now, there are a number of other benefits that you can take advantage of if you just know what you're doing. So, it's important that you educate yourself on Social Security benefits so you can properly and efficiently claim them. Number 11. Prepare for Lifestyle Changes And finally, regardless of how much preparation you make, you should know that your lifestyle is bound to change as you enter into retirement. This is not saying that the change would be a bad thing, though. You might find that you have a lot more time on your hands and probably fewer responsibilities. It is important, therefore, that you try to prepare yourself for all of these changes. Make plans to visit, go on trips, or pick up a new hobby. And know that setting your financial house in order will make it easier for you to enjoy your retirement. That's it for this video. Is there anything that surprised you about preparing for retirement? Please let me know in the comments section. And while you're at it, consider hitting the like button if you enjoyed this video subscribing to this channel if you want to see more videos like this, and hitting the notification bell so that you know when I post a new video. I'll see you in the next one.